Log into Nuix Discover by entering your username, followed by your password. Your administrator can add notifications that you will see upon signing in. This is your Discover Portal home. Here you can access your case list. At any point, you can click Help to access the Discover documentation or see the recent changes to read the latest feature releases. Your case list is sortable and searchable. You can also pin your most accessed cases so they will appear at the top of your list. Let's enter a case by clicking the name of the case. Here you can see the case site map on our case home. You can return to the portal home by clicking the Nuix Discover logo and to this case home from any screen by clicking the name of the case. There are several ways to access documents from your case home. If your case manager has batched out documents for review, they can be retrieved in My Assignments. If you want to search for documents with specific criteria, you can use the quick search box at the top. Or you can navigate to the advanced search page using the search button to build an advanced search. At the bottom, Documents Added allows you to open documents that were recently added to the case. Results History will display the five most recent sets of documents you've retrieved by running searches or browsing to sets of documents. Document History shows the documents you viewed on your last five logins. Let's click the hyperlink for all documents at the bottom of the page to view all of our documents. We're now viewing documents in a custom workspace for review in a single monitor. Workspaces consist of panes that can be resized and collapsed. In the list pane, we're viewing documents in a traditional list view. Discover provides visual cues, the color of the icon will give you coding information about the document, and the icon itself indicates the document file type. Lines between documents indicate a familial relationship, such as an email and its attachments. To sort a column, click the column name. To filter a column, Hover over the column name, click on the arrow, and enter filter criteria. You can further organize your columns in the list drop-down menu on the right by clicking on Select Columns. Column templates can be customized to show you the information for the fields you need. For example, I can add people to display people values. Your customizations can be saved as a template. Toggle between existing column templates by selecting the drop-down. On the left, we have our Browse pane. Browse lets you display document sets or explore attributes of the document sets. Your Browse pane can be customized by clicking on the cogwheel to display your options for Browse settings. Click the blue hyperlink to display the document set as search results. Use the checkbox to select documents within the larger set to select them in your list. Use the Find tab to select documents containing a term or terms within your document set. To view only your selected documents, move to your working list by clicking on the working list icon. Move back to the full set by selecting the list icon. You can deselect by clicking the X next to the number of selected documents. Use the back arrow to go to your previous search and use the forward arrow to move forward to the next search. As you will likely need to change your display depending on what tasks you're working on, Discover allows you to choose which panes you want to display at a given time with workspaces. You can access your saved workspaces at the top right by clicking the ABC buttons or by clicking the drop down arrow to see your full list of workspaces. At the bottom of the drop down, you have the ability to add or edit workspaces. The gray triangle indicates that this is the active document. This will be the active document in all of your workspace panes. Your active document will also be displayed in any linked workspaces, which you can open by hovering on the list view. Linked workspaces allow you to utilize a dual monitor setup if you have one. Also access this through the active document ID drop-down menu here. In your username menu, you can change your search preferences based on whether you want to view sources and attachments, email threading, show line numbering, or view production renditions. You can also access bookmark sites and view keyboard shortcuts that will allow you to navigate using your keyboard.
Let's focus on the view pane in our current workspace. The document is currently being displayed with the formatted content view, which will display the text from your document with simple formatting applied. This view also displays keyword highlights for hits on your search term families if you have them. Use the arrows to move between search term hits. Enter a term to conduct a search within the document. Use the keyword highlights buttons to turn search term families on or off. Switch between view formats using the icons here on the left. The integrated Office Online Viewer is great for displaying documents like PowerPoints and Excel spreadsheets in their native format. We can turn hidden content on or off, and we can see what that hidden content is. If the document is in an image format, either natively or as imaged using Discover, image format is where you can apply highlights and redactions. We can remove existing highlights and redactions. We can even use Find and Redact to enter text or use search term families. Find those terms located in the document and see what page they're on. We can select individual selections or select all and apply the redactions across the entire document. Once we've reviewed our document, we should tag or code the document. You can select from the available coding templates created for you using the drop-down at the top of the conditional coding pane. With conditional coding, after you code each field, the template will change to indicate whether you need to code the remaining fields. The next button appears when the conditional coding template contains at least one required field and all required fields for the relevant conditions are coded. You will be notified when you code an unexpected field. The Code as Previous button at the bottom of the conditional coding pane will allow you to apply the same coding as the document before it. You can also create coding macros for one-click coding.